Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. Hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're continuing our new series of common relic builds for different champions and today we're going to try out one for Jax. Now for the star powers, we have allies have attack, grant me 1-1. One, one. If I'm equipped, also grant my equipment 2 power. So it's a pretty good scaling for all of our units and especially our equipped units. We just want to keep attacking as much as possible. Then we have the Relentless Assault, plus one starting mana when an equipped ally dies, draw one. So a lot of our units, even if they die, we're still getting some benefit and not running out of cards. Jack can have, or Jax, oh, can have a bit of a swarmy playstyle with a lot of cheaper cards, and you're yeah fine with them being a little bit more disposable, since you will actually get some draw out of it. Now for the relics we're going to be trying, we're going with Double Rage Blade and a Duelist. Now, Jax is a pretty versatile champion. There's a ton of different ways you can build him, even with just the common relics. But we're trying to really lean into stacking up with our attacks. This scales very well with our star powers, because remember, when we're attacking, we're also getting stats from that. The Challenger is great because Jax has Quick Attack. Quick Attack Challenger is a very deadly combo. And then once he levels up, he also gets that Overwhelm. Now, other things would be very valid options. Going for Lost Chapter wouldn't be bad. Going for Banshee's Veil. Really, most of these common relics, you could argue for their use in some situation for Jax. But we're going to try to go for a very scaling heavy build. So Double Rage Blades and the Duelist. Now, if you enjoy all this Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe. Also, if you want to join the conversation with all things Path of Champions or just talk with like-minded individuals, we have a link to our Discord linked down below. Below. All right, let's get into it. All right, let's see what we can get for our first power here. Higher education isn't bad. I think we will actually go for higher education because I'm probably going to forget to do this, but we could use our Relentless Assault so when an equipped ally dies, draw one. So we could put our squishiest units, or the ones that are most likely to die, at the front of the attack, and that way, if they die, we'll immediately draw and buff up our remaining attack. So, could be a pretty interesting combo. I normally don't really play around this as much as I should. So let's actually try to go for this. Alright, so up first we have Zoe with Power Overwhelming. Pretty solid opening hand. Let's actually get rid of the combat cook. A little too expensive at the moment. I think we will actually hold on to this though. Play Jax, they'll be able to attack. Not if they have the Serpent. I think we'll go ahead and go with the Hookmaster. Pretty solid card. Um, sure, let's go for the Sep Shepherd's Authority. Alright, let's kill Zoe. I think we'll save the catch for later. And he's already a 9-5. Awesome. It is a bit of an issue of us not having to overwhelm yet. We're losing out on a lot of damage, but it's not too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and buff up our jacks a little bit so he'll survive. And... Actually, we're fine with taking that hit. Alright, so we were actually going to wait and try to build out our board a little bit, but they got Crescent Strike, and we don't want them stunning anyone here. So let's just immediately attack, and this unit, we're intentionally having them drag this person aside and die. That way we're going to get extra draw, so all their attack will get even higher. Also, this will probably have Jax level up. Yep, there we go. A thousand years of battle, and I'm just warming up. Okay. 
with Zoe, you always have to be very aware of what card she generates. Oh, he wasn't equipped. <laughs> All right, I think let's go for Keeper of the Box because we're normally going to get that equip off. So gain life seal wouldn't be bad. Although he's going to have like five power in our like first attack because of the scaling. This could actually be a lot of fun. I feel like Keeper of the Box is probably better, but I actually want to I want to try playing with this. Also, yeah, I kind of screwed up. This is only when an equipped ally dies, not just when one of your allies dies. So because our unit wasn't equipped, our units didn't draw. So yeah, a little bit more niche than I was kind of thinking about. All right, Victor. We're going to go with Katarina because a one cost Katarina will be pretty broken. We can just try to use her as a very cheap rally and we want to keep attacking as much as possible. So yeah, let's go ahead and go here. Uh, champion item chest, definitely what we want. Karma will be a bit of a pain, but we'll see what we can do. All right, pretty decent opening hand, especially the... Actually, we might have wanted to re-roll this so we could get the uh, Norris T to potentially proc. But having this letting us rally very quickly wouldn't be bad. So right now we're really just preparing for our next attack. Ah, oh, that sucks. That's the bad thing with Karma. For most of the other decks, you can know what's in their hand, and so you can kind of plan around it as far as what cards they have in their deck. But with Karma, since she generates random cards, yeah, you don't really know what you're going to deal with. So this really, really sucks. Because we were going to attack with Jax and Karma, be able to rally and just attack a whole bunch of times. That's not going to be able to happen anymore. All right, let's just try to attack as much as we can. So Karma is going to hit someone, get recalled, and we'll be able to rally, and we'll probably just keep playing some Legion Saboteurs. So we're just going to try to keep wearing them down. Explosives prime. Take them down. Brick by brick. To the point. All right, yeah, let's just keep attacking. Just wearing them down little by little. And let's use this blade's edge here. It's just a nick. Yeah, we'll go one more round. Let the blood set begin. Explosives prime. Take them down. Brick by brick. Behind ya. So not attacking with a jeweled protector. Kind of funny. Uh, we could hit their nexus, but I think let's actually kill their jewel protector just so they have nothing else on their board. Alright, 
All right, so a bit unfortunate as far as the fact that we couldn't attack with Jax, because he would have absolutely dominated there. Uh, but still, Katarina coming in clutch. Man, that could have been... Well, I guess it does nothing because it swaps them twice. Any takers? Uh, we'll attack with him first. We'll get a rally because he has 5 plus power. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Although, actually, we probably should have saved that for a blocker for when Karma attacks, which she's probably about to do. But the game was like, oh, you need a blocker? Here you go. <laughs> Uh, let's actually use this instead. And we have another blocker. Wonderful. Wow, we still have our other rally going. We could actually probably play this again. I wonder if they trigger independently of each other. Let's test that out. Looks like they do. Alright, awesome. Should hopefully be able to kill her. Yeah, let's go for it. For Acadia. And you know what? Also for me. And yes, they do trigger independently. Wonderful. GG. Alright, able to come away with the win. Pretty awesome. That seems pretty broken. Uh, that combat cook is nice, but yeah, let's go for this. It is pretty expensive, and we're not going to trigger that flow state that often, but that's a lot of stats on an equipment. Right, let's go for the champion item chest. Giant spelt wouldn't be bad. Brash wouldn't be bad. All these are decent. I kind of want to use a reroll. I think we'll save that for later, though. Let's actually go for the giant spelt just so we can't get killed by, like, a mystic shot or something, because that is something we do have to watch out for. Alright, Ash with Unstable Inventory. Yes, I will re-roll this, although I do like having it in an opening hand. And I think I'm actually fine with this. So, we have the first action, which is a little bit of a toss-up, because we kind of want them to use up their mana first. We'll play our jacks because we need to get the scaling, but they might just immediately frostbite him. Okay, nice. Oof, that's a... <laughs> that's a bigger unit. Um... Sure, let's start building out some of these units right here. Hey, Captain, how's the ship holding up? Still full of holes after you taunted that sea monster yet. Alright, let's yeah, block with our jacks. It'll go down a bit, but shouldn't be too bad. And let's actually play our Katarina. No going back. So that we can immediately attack next round. All right, this should be pretty good. We'll be able to rally and immediately attack again. Frostbite isn't actually that bad on Jax, since he can just keep scaling up. No one gets in my way. These old eyes still All right, they blew most of their mana. Never. All right, we can immediately attack. Yeah, it should be pretty great. For Acadia. 
And you know what? Also for me! It is pretty clutch that we got that Katarina. Alright, GG. Alright. I think we'll go for the Arachnoid Sentry. That stun will be decent, but none of these are really awesome for us. House Spider would potentially be good just to throw up some blockers, but this will probably scale better against some of the stronger champions we might face later. Not bad to have some control since games are probably going to go on a little bit longer than normal Jax games. Alright, don't mind if I do. Uh, rear guard, so that would be a 2 cost 6-5. Not terrible. I'm actually liking my deck as it is right now though, so even though this could be pretty solid, I think we'll just leave it as is. Alright, Fiora with level up. Uh, yep, I am fine with this. Oh, Jack's got... Oh, Shadow Totem, that's actually bad. Normally, Shadow Totem will steal your equipment. Let's see if it still does that. Yep, it still... Uh, it still does that. What we can do, though, is attack like this. He will die, buffing up our other unit's attack, so he'll do more damage. At least we're able to kill a rally around one. <laughs> She's like one of the most annoying champions, so that's satisfying. Alright, let's equip that again. They won't... They likely won't attack because our unit's so much bigger. So we want to actually prepare to open attack... Well, we could actually probably kill their Fiora when they played it. 6-6 six, six was going to get doubled, so it's going to be a 12-12. Yeah, Jack should be able to take care of that. Uh, let's play our Katarina. Never play fair. Um, all right, so that's Barrier. I think I'd actually rather just bank this mana than do the one damage. Alright, so most likely they're going to drop all their mana to play Fiora, so then they shouldn't have really anything else to do. She's going to cost two, so we probably actually want to save that mana to be able to just play her. Actually, let's just maybe attack, kill their one unit, they'll play Fiora, we'll rally, kill Fiora. Yeah, let's, let's go like that. Alright, so he'll level up. Yes, we'll deal a ton of damage. Sure, let's go like this, try to make even more or do even more damage. Alright, potentially GG. For and you know what? Also for me. It's just a nail. Yep, GG. I think we'll actually grab the Overwhelm for Jax, just so that he always has it. Right now we're losing out on a lot of damage. Like, yes, he gets it when he levels up, but that's taken normally two to three attacks to do. So this will actually give us a lot of extra damage on their Nexus. Uh, little buddies, not bad. Sure, let's go ahead and do this. We'll always have blockers, and they might even scale up since we're attacking so much. Yeah, let's go here. Uh, we want the champion item chest, so Poppy with unstable inventory. Alright, let's get rid of this. I'm actually fine with the rest of these. We got some pretty decent upgrades from the unstable inventory. Never seem 
understand. Think you could fish up something to eat after this battle? Catch and release only. Do you kill everyone you beat? All right, we will put the smaller unit here for Jack so that his overwhelm will actually do more damage. And yeah, let's just attack like this and chunk him down. I think let's actually play this here. Love the attitude. We'll probably just be able to attack and should be GG. Yep, GG. Who's next? Bring it on! Alright, I think we'll go for the Kingpin. The Iron Ballista is pretty good though, but yeah, I think Kingpin will probably be best here. So I wouldn't mind getting more copies of Katarina, but doubling down on our Jax is probably best. We'll go for the Strike Draw 1 because that ties into our Higher Education, which the more I'm playing with Higher Education, the more I'm actually really liking it as a power, because it is something you can really build around. So if we have Jax first, He'll strike, draw one, and then that will buff up everyone after him in the attack, giving us even more damage. So I think we will go like this, although I'm looking to maybe get like, if we get Farsight or something on Katarina, so we're drawing her at the start of the game, that would be pretty nice. Alright, Tom Kench with Perfected Mana Flow. Uh, let's get rid of these two. Happy with the Hookmaster and Jax. Uh, yeah, let's play our Jax. That's a lot of units. No, that's not too bad. Although, why is the countdown... Stopwatch doesn't make sense on this. It's not a countdown relic or a landmark. That's a little weird. Uh, they'll play their Tom Kench, but that should be fine. Uh, let's do the combat reel. Alright, they're out of mana, so we can, yeah, take our time. We'll actually play this, because with that Philosopher's Stone, that extra draw, buffing everyone's damage. Wonderful. We'll have Jax attack first. He can kill the Krusty Codger. Uh, we'll drag Tom Kench aside so he doesn't kill anyone else. Alright, that looks pretty good. Yeah, them changing Jack's level up to be... Um, allies have attacked instead of actually dealt damage is actually a pretty big nerf. Hmm. Alright, so they don't have enough to do a acquired taste, but Jax does have vulnerable, so they might try to grab him. We want to have mana for the counter strike so that we can survive. So I think, oh, of course this has Scout, it just has like all the best stuff on it. Uh, let's just pass. Yep. So, give him Barrier. Alright, we don't leave mana for anything else. So, 
So we could slow play this, but let's just open attack and that'll be GG. Who's next? Bring it on! What's your wager? Oh, we'll have a rally. <laughs> nice. I'm actually really having a lot of fun with this build. Uh, strike, draw one, pretty good. At least for our build right now. Interesting. Mana flow, all right. Yeah, we'll grab that. There are no shops here, so we can spend more gold. We will buy this, because there's a good chance we can get a item on this from our unstable inventory that makes us a lot cheaper. And I don't think we'll bother with anything else. So yeah, let's go for that champion item chest. So Darius with level up. Uh, let's get rid of both of these, actually. We'll hold on to the copies of Jax. Increase our odds of getting Katarina. Don't get in my way. Well, that's slightly annoying. But probably is fine. Sword, staff, fish, nothing speaking to me. You won't get past me. So they'll attack. We need to not kill anyone because then Lucian will rally. We'll just let him kill the lonely Poro. And I think we should be fine. I'm worried that they're gonna play a one-cost challenger, but. I don't necessarily think they have that. So yeah, we're not going to block. We don't want to kill any of their units. Need a second. All right, we're at four mana, which means we could rally twice with Katarina. So let's attack, kill Lucian first. Nice, they just blew all of their mana. So we'll just be able to have two rallies without any blockers. So, GG. Oh no, she's gonna die because we didn't have room to recall her. Some more strike draw one. House Spider is pretty good, but we already have enough blockers because of little buddies. And I'm wanting to keep our deck a little bit more refined if possible. So I think I'll actually just go here. All right, Farsight is probably, yeah, gonna be the best. Like, it would also be good for Jax. Also, Quick Strike Blade would be good for Jax, but making sure we're always gonna draw a Katarina will be pretty nice. All right, Healer, what do we want to cut? It's actually a little crazy, but I think we're gonna get rid of our Desert Duel because we're normally not wanting to kill units with that sort of strike. We're wanting to kill them with Challenger. And also it's pretty expensive for what we're doing, so I think let's actually get rid of this. All right, Misfortune with Power Overwhelming. All right, we'll re-roll both of these because we know we'll draw them. Oh, game freaked out there briefly. Um, let's get rid of the Wandering Shepherd. We'll hold on to the Arachnoid Sentry because it has that cost reduction. Nice, Jax got a phage. Oh, Katarina also has that cost reduction. That's amazing. <laughs> so we'll just be able to infinite really rally then. Oh, this is going to be great. Alright, so yeah, we'll attack like this, be able to play her. We'll actually use the Blade's Edge here just so that... We're not filling up our hand too much. It's just a nick. No one gets in my way. All right, so we'll just play her again, rally, and end the game. GG. Bring it on! This might hurt. 
All right, these are all fine, but not really great. Let's try to reroll here. All right, quick strike. That should be good in most situations. We do have the issue that this might end up killing Jax, but normally with our scaling, anything he's gonna attack is gonna be dead. So this one is a risk, but I think I wanna actually go for it. Welcome gifts, explosive entrance. All of these are pretty good. Explosive entrance would actually pair well with our little buddies. It's simple, but yeah, let's actually go with this. All right, Victor with unyielding. Uh, this looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. This has been a pretty fun run. Not gonna lie, it's definitely, it's even more fun than I was expecting it to be. Wanna line up for your feet down, or go all at once? Alright, let, hmm. I'm worried about playing Katarina and that they're immediately gonna kill her, but... I feel like we just have to kind of go for it. No yep, there it is. Uh, I thought that that might happen. It's just a Alright, I think... Let's go for the castaway with that extra draw. Uh, doesn't he already have? He already has overwhelm, so let's go for the pot of pain. Hey, ah, that's sad. But we'll get a little bit of draw. Bury me at sea. Thing was play a bloodthirster. Alright, we'll attack like this, get a draw. Actually, it might be better to attack. Right, this unit won't actually die, which is annoying, but this will still do the most damage. A thousand years of battle, and I'm just warming up. So we could just stun that, and yeah, that's not bad. Interesting that one of these spirit stones is epic and the other one is rare. That is interesting. Uh, you can have an equipment, and yet we're fine with just sacrificing any of these. Alright. GG. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's see here. Black Lever. Uh, that's fine. Sure, let's go for some even crazier cost reduction looks good I guess might as well play this the Drake Hound's not bad because we could play a bunch of these round one sure let's actually grab a couple of these all right so we have Yasuo with duplicate all right, let's reroll that 
I actually want to hold on to this one, even though we're not going to get the Nora's Tea. Alright, I feel like Jax will be strong enough to kill him. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that's wonderful. We'll just, you have to take the hit. Not great, but it'll be alright. And let's actually use this here. Oh, we don't have the attack token. Right. For some reason I thought we'd be able to attack back. It is all right though. So one issue, we don't want them, we don't want to attack and have them stun us on our attack. So we'll want to play this a little bit slower. We're already going to rally, so let's actually play this. Alright, they blew all of their mana. Wonderful. Let's attack like this, kill their Yasuo. And this should be a lot of damage. GG. Alright, making our Drake Hound a little bit better. Not too bad. Next up, Viego with Power Overwhelming. Uh, let's get rid of this. And actually, let's just reroll all of these. Nothing's speaking to me. <laughs> As Jax would say. Alright, so he, Jax costs nothing, so we don't want to play him right away. I think let's actually play this first, I'm thinking. And then we can play Jax for free. He'll attack and... Actually, let's play the Drake Hounds first, so that when Jax attacks, they will attack with him. That's actually an awesome combo. That's so good. Alright, now we could just immediately attack again. I mean, I guess we will. Alright, GG, we didn't even need the rally. And you know what? Also for me. Alright, I think we'll go for the catch. Drawing a unit should trigger our star power. Or not our star power, our just where is it? Higher education. Alright, time for Aurelian Soul with level up. Right, let's get rid of the Katarina and both of these. Great that we're getting our Drake Hounds, especially multiples, in our opening hand. That's wonderful. Alright, so Jax will actually take up mana this time, but still think it'll be, hmm, we could try to pass, I don't want to risk it though. So 
So yeah, let's play the Castaway. You can fix anything with anything. I'll prove it. All right, nice. They blew all of their mana on a pretty useless card. We'll play our double Drake Hounds. Play our Jax, which will make the Drake Hounds attack with him. All right, wonderful. We could play Katarina, but we wouldn't have enough mana to play... Uh, her again. Let me change up but style. we probably have enough just to end the game right here. And they have no mana. So, GG. You know Aurelian Soul OTK. <laughs> nice. All right, so that was a Common Relic Jax build. That was quite fun, and it really opened up and kind of showed me new ways to play that I hadn't really thought about before. It's kind of nice going outside your comfort zone and just trying to keep yourself from using the best builds just so that you can experience the champion in a different way. And it does actually teach you more about how to actually play the champion because I've never really tried to utilize his second star power before. The when an equipped ally dies, draw one. Like it's always been there. It's always been giving you some nice amount of passive draw. But this kind of showed me, especially with that higher education, how can we really use this to elevate a build? So I had a lot of fun with this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely like and subscribe. And if you want to join an awesome Path of Champions Discord, there'll be a link to that down in the description. Alright, I hope you all have a great day.